Hello, Monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 3 of my Valkyr the Bloody campaign. Valkyr the Bloody. Exactly. Where last time we laid waste to Harganis territory. Like a savage animal. Good. Not sure what to do with that information, but thank you for the weather update. Th th thanks. Anyway, so... <laughs> we have smashed through Harganeth's armies. Uh, there was a close battle, which we managed to win by the skin of our teeth. Um, but Corn was obviously pleased, because many skulls were added to big piles that day, and there was plenty of blood around as well. So, win-win there. Apart from, obviously, the people that were dead. But who gives a shit about them? Reforged for murder. We did pick up a regiment of renowns. So we now got two juggernaut boys, which is going to come in handy, isn't it? Yes, and some spawn of corn. And we've also got Thyrus in the army. He's bringing down the general theme of corn, basically just making the place look untidy. Unfortunate. But we're also upgrading to uh, tier three and Dagrax end. And I've decided that maybe Sigvold has to go. I'm also not. Bar I'm, I'm not. I'm holding on to these settlements because I'm going to give them to Harganeth afterwards. I don't, do I want Harganeth? You know what? Yeah, I, don't, I do want Harganeth. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. So let us go for less campaign. Just, just in case they flank us. Just in, ideally, I, I hit Dargoth and then we hit Nagar, the Gara, the whatever, and then I can, I can get them to subjugate. That, that is the plan. We'll subjugate the shit out of them. Lure them back to their last settlement. Subjugate them. Bosh. Jobs are good. Oh, you know what? I'm a little bit worried that you... Maybe you're not quite in range, but will I be in range? That's the problem. Would you... Would you fuck off... Go and defend that. Snow will never be a barrier to war. You go and do that. Don't. Uh, okay. For the skull throw. okay. Unrelenting murder. We'll grab this. Oh, a banner of rage. And more souls from battles. Okay, good. Now, Three banner. Now, now. Now, banner of rage. That is. It is. It's basically double frenzy. Perfect. Love a bit of double frenzy. What do we want here? Hmm. The vigor loss reduction, that's for you, isn't it? This is nice. The vanguard deployment. That is nice. In indeed. Increase my killing power, eh? Let's get Gehenna's Golden Hounds. Let's do something like that. Oh, I'm a little bit concerned. They may, they may go for Nagar. I hope they don't. I want to. I mean, absolute worst case scenario. I just give this stuff to to, to Caladriel. That's fine. I'd like to have the Gilf on sides. You know, get all the all the girls together. Got a bit of a Spice Girls theme going on. You got Scary Spice. You got Old Spice. You got whatever Caladriel is. Oh, well, I, I, uh, I was going to declare war on you, actually, but all right. Get to me to the punch there, aren't you? Never mind. My paramour calls. Oh. But what gifts await me in his realm? Well, good question. Good. That's a long way away. Jesus. What's this? Far from the cold ravages of the northern steppes, an insignificant orc war boss named Mugger has taken his crew into the underway to find some stunties to bash, but instead stumbles straight into a skaven hideout. 
In a self-preserving panic, the Ratman mystic leading the nest tore open the fabric between worlds in a haphazard attempt to summon a bloodthirster into his ranks. Perhaps Korn had momentarily turned his gaze and seen an opportunity. It is more likely, however, that the seer had simply lost control of his rift. For in it, the instant, the orc war boss, his crew, and the entire Skaven host were sucked into the realm of Korn, where they now await their fate. Once again, the blood god shall lavish his consort with the greatest gift of all. War. Hello there. It's a nice little present, isn't it? Eh? It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of ratties. With reinforcements expected, apparently. Alright. We will, uh... We'll get right on that. Uh, can't reach ya. Right, don't... Don't attack. Just stay. Alright? Stay. Stay. You can help me, by all means. Oh no. It's that knobhead. Sword maiden of the blood god. Alright, and it's gone hound, yeah. The you know what we you know, I have got enough money, haven't I? I should get a new boy. The brass col Ooh. Asavar. I think you might be you might be our lads. Right, we'll start recruiting some boys there, and I you may you may come in, but I I just want to get you. What we got here? Maximum gifts plus one. Oh yes, please. It's gonna take eight turns, uh, but it will give us relentless rage. Oh, I'm fuming. I am absolutely fuming. So we've almost got the blood... Ooh, blood greed would be nice. So for each unit they kill, they just get more killy. Lovely. That's... That's... That is my bag. Right, you just stay there. Okay, you killed him. Fine. Oh, Crone Halibron's back. Um, how do I feel about that? Ah, oh, that's probably right. Now, Sigvold, you just stay here. Right. Good boy. Okay, we move in. We kill Hellebron. We take the city. Bish bosh bash. <sighs> right. We have to kill everyone at the same time. Okay. Hopefully, you fight. You son of a bitch. Save your skulls for me. Alright. Um Let us I'm tempted to give you double Double few um okay, let's put that on you, because that'll give you double rage. Because you'll have normal rage. And you'll have the banner of rage. Plus a murderous charge. <laughs> Oof. You are very angry boys. Corn also hates camping. Fuck camping. He's more he's more into glamping. All the joy of the outdoors, but without actually having to, you know, be inflicted with it. So once again, it's Muscle Mummy versus the Gilf. Perhaps the final time. I think if we win this fight, we will get the chance to vassalize them. I think. Or alternatively, we might have to, like, it might have to be their last settlement and they have no more armies. I, I can't remember. But if we don't get the chance to vassalize Hellebron this time, then we'll just sack the settlement and try and wipe out that army and then come back. And hopefully my, my other vassals don't exterminate them. Absolute worst case scenario, we'll just give all the settlements to the other Dark Elf faction. Tis all good. Right, we've got doggos coming on on the left flank, and on the right flank we've got our cavalry, and the centre our chaos warriors and marauders. 
magical support. There's been magical support now. Look at this. Gehenna's Golden Hounds. And our cavalry moving in to engage the Dark Riders. This is a very one-sided fight with the Dark Riders just getting absolutely butchered. And then we have the Knights of the Brazen Throne continuing the rampage. These these Dark Riders just getting annihilated. Valkyr and Crone Helebron going toe-to-toe -to -toe once more in the skies. But Crone Helebron really does have the, uh, the advantage. I don't know why she's got the advantage, but she's doing very, very well for herself. God knows how. Meanwhile, our Kyos Warriors are running roughshod over the Dark Elves murdering their way through everything. We've, of course, got the spawn of corn there as well. It's going to be big blood action. Oh, I love the jam. Jam for the jam throne. Obviously, jam first. Then cream. Valkyrie's, yeah, Valkyrie's going to have to get the fuck out of there because she's getting uh, annihilated, so uh, not ideal. Meanwhile, Hellebron deciding to take on the Juggernauts, which turns out not the best idea. Plus, lots of axes raining down on her head. I mean, what's worse for her is her army has been absolutely exterminated. Oh, Hellebron is a minx, isn't she? Eh? Kneel before your queen. Damn right. Um... Yes. Yes, I would. Okay. So they've got that one. Valkyrie the bloody. Then we'll have a chat. Have time or love for diplomacy. Well, you'll like what I'm about to tell you. You can have some stuff back. Fine. You can have Harganeth. Very well. You can have Spite Reach. Understood. And you can have Kunok. Agreed. In exchange for some cash. There we go. Can't say fairer than that, can you? Gave you everything you wanted. Mother of the dark do I have... I do... I don't... Right. Outposts. I don't know if I'm going to want... These, but... Um, let's put it in Harganeth, because that just makes sense. Right. There will always be blood. Job done. Mistress of skulls. Ooh, three skill points, my goodness. So I don't know how useful that's gonna be. Do something like this. I relish such power. Indeed. The problem is now she's a demon, so if she gets sad, she will rather than run away, just drop dead. Is, th is there any point making as I don't think there is, to be honest. Uh, is undivided authority that useful? Not really. Let's stick with the spells. And I really... Final Transmutation is such a good spell. The Gore Queen. So we'll do something like that. Right. Reforged for murder. Job done. Now... Oh... Oh, we can uh, level some people up, which is fun. So, you guys have armor piercing, don't you? I just want to see how much armor piercing you have. 
You do have a lot more weapon strength. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're just going to turn you into dual weapons. Uh, oh, we require profane weaponry. Do I just turn them all into dual? Ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah, why not? Why the fuck not? Let's just go for it. Bringer of glory. Okay. Pretty happy with that. We do have some... I could get some blood letters in here. Do I want to do that? I think you guys might just be... I mean, Is you... you that mm. the best they could give us? So, you, you got 14 armor piercing, which is not amazing, but that's alright. Bonus first infantry is as much as I thought it would be, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but your stats are just generally better. Yes. Okay, we can upgrade. We need, we need more dark fortresses. I've been, I've been busy slapping dark elves around. And you know what? It, it's not a waste of my time. I enjoy slapping Dark Elves around. It's great. However, I probably do, especially after my Solostra campaign, where I spent a long time f th like fostering Malekith, and it just didn't really work. So I'm glad I've spent the time now to just, you know, subjugate the shit out of them. Hello, no, Sigvold. Oh, rude. Karnith's awakened. Let's now we do have a oh, bunch of armies heading in this direction. Sword maiden of the blood god. What do you have? Hmm. No. What about settlement wise? Well, you're gonna upgrade it in one turn. Yes, and there's nothing we can do about that. It's just gonna happen. What else would we want? I guess... Ashrak. Um... Enter then! Are you after a drink? A fist fight or both? I'd quite like to have Ashrak so I can give it back to Grond actually, but I'm sure they're doing alright. Uh, I could... Oh, we do get a little bit of money from all of this. I see. Interesting. I mean, let's go with that, because, I mean, you know, an exalted hero. Who doesn't love an exalted hero? Oh, we've almost unlocked Blood Greed, which would be nice. Um, I'm probably going to want... ruin. If, if we want to take that city, we probably want Shatterstone, right? More income from vassals would be nice. But let's go with that. I deny this as I deny oh, well, deny away. Consort of corn. Fucking deny away, mate. Actually, let's give you melee defense because you're now on a, a chariot, aren't you? I can give you that. What? What do you have? Okay. That is generally fine. We could try and make something better, but... I'm going to leave it. Let's see if we can lure Sigvald in. He does. Oh, he's bringing friends. Does say I can win it though. I am nobody's victim. But no. There will always be blood. Uh, can I? Yeah. Why can I not select your army? That's weird. 
All right. Well, now you're just by yourself. That's that's a bit more like it. That. I mean, I, I guess that's slightly different, but. But once again, Valkyr, your your management style is unorthodox. There's Sigvold and his arseless chaps. Valkyr is going to make a beeline for him. Meanwhile, our dual axe boys just going at it and frankly murdering, murdering. Look at look how many kills they're getting. It's just an absolute sl one sided slaughter. Our cavalry have annihilated the enemy cavalry on the flanks. No contest there. The Hell Cannon trying to get shots off at the Marauder Horsemen as they advance, but no luck there. And a Doggo engagement on the right flank went our way. Flesh Hound slamming into the back of those Chaos Warriors, sending them flying and also doing considerable damage. Oh, this is this is absolutely brutal. Sigvold, meanwhile, also uh, not doing very well against her horniness. It's like, nope. What's wrong, Sigvold? I thought you liked being penetrated by long objects. Right up the jack, see. Yeah, he's he's doing he's doing absolutely nothing. He's running, he's like, nope, 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 nope. You better run. You little bitch. Nope. Oh, nope. He fell over. Smush. I am going to... I'm going to take the replenishment. Because if we want to follow him up... The bloody. And we do. Oh, physical resistance. That's a nice little trait to have. I don't know why I can't see what you're up to. You're just, like, just not there. Resistance. Oh, we got the Scarlet Armor. It's going to come in handy. It's going to come in handy. Do I want this? Figure loss reduction. Do you need that? I kind of think you're okay. Um, I'm gonna make you hard to hit. For the champion. You get to be hard to hit. You get a blade shield. You get more final transmutation. You get a stabbing. Chains are all the weak deserve. Do do we do we just keep going? We can. Reforged for murder. We can just keep going. We can just career straight into Asbor the Cleaver. That will pull the garrison out, but the garrison's not very good. I reckon we just do it. Damn right, skulls of the Skull Throne. Rampage! That's right, no rest for the wickets. I do like these, these. These dual axe boys are very, very murdery, aren't they? Big doggo engagement on the right flank. I think we have the upper hand because they've just got bog standard doggos. We've got corn doggos. They're like normal doggos, but angrier. Yep, looks like we do it. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Routing everything. Good stuff. Meanwhile, our flesh hounds also moving around. The enemy seem to be avoiding my Chaos Warriors. I can't think why. In the trees, the Skull Crushers taking out the Seeker Chariots. And Marauder Horsemen. They, the Doggos are trying to chase them, but then we turned around and decided to attack them. And uh, it's... Well... I, I think, actually, our Horsemen are actually pretty good against the Doggos. So uh, that seems to be fine. Valkyr taking on the Severed Claw. 
Also getting attacked in the back by uh, Corn Chaos Warriors, and enemy reinforcements are arriving fairly soon. About 30 seconds time. Some of the Flesh Hounds having a little bit of trouble with some Forsaken of Slanesh. So we're going to send in Thyrus to help. Have her with the entire Slanesh army close to routing. Uh, we've got plenty of units that can go to their assistance. Including Cormac there and his new, new chariot. Which does have a lot of weapon strength. That is, that is a shit ton of weapon strength. Jesus Christ. 35 bonus infantry as well. Enemy reinforcements are arriving just as we mop up the initial force. Giving us plenty of time to get our Chaos Warriors into position and get our cavalry back on the flank there for a second wave. Not that we, you know, not that we're desperate I don't think, for our units to be in any kind of cohesive force. We could just right-click them and, you know, the end result would basically be the same. We do have a little bit of missile resistance, which is helpful because, you know, we don't have shields. We decided shields were for nerds. And real men just had another axe. And his trolls getting a good charge off. However, things will switcheroo once the Chaos Warriors start getting their axes in there. As you can see, the Chaos Trolls are losing a lot of health very rapidly. On the flank, our cavalry now moving around. Get some nice spells off over there. And the doggo is now coming in from behind. This is the garrison and I think another army. It's not going to last very long. Get your charge off there. Charging into the spawn of Slanesh as well. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of airborne marauders. Skullcrush is taking a little bit of damage, but dishing it out even more. Even Cormac's turned up. And there's not really much to clean up. I think Sigvold's down a dark fortress. A desirable slaughter. Don't think I need the replenishment. Accept death as a blessing. I think pretty much everyone's dead. Yeah. Murder. Corn dominates here. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, we've got the Swords of Chaos and the Hellforged Hosts. Now, uh, does this mean we get the Ag Hole? The bloody. Maybe. There will always be blood. Indeed, that is, that, is, that is a good point. A good point. My proficiency is unsurpassed. Let us get Deadly Onslaught with you. Get a magical reserve. Then we get arcane conjurer. Get a little bit of uh, a little bit more winds of magic coming in. I think it'll probably be a good idea. So we have Harganet. Now, how does Malekith feel about us? I'm assuming he's not super happy. Uh oh, he actually quite likes what we were beating up Harganeth, but he's now s probably slightly more miffed that uh, they're now on our side. Potentially, what the fuck are you doing? The, what is your thing? The Gore Queen. Okay, no problem. We've got some more money. That's good. We're going to get even more money very soon. That's even more good, Ura. And if we... I, I... Oh, that's not right. So, yes, that's the icon for the Norse Convassal. This is just because it's part of their... 
their homeland. Right, well, Sigvold still has a settlement over here, so we need to take that out. Also, Nagareth apparently is across the sea. That is a slight problem. And I also have a quest battle to do. Hetwoman. Oh, it, it's all kicking off, isn't it? It's all kicking, well, I profane, where's profane weaponry? Uh, oh, there. We need to get that so that I can get more Chaos Knights. Because I do want some more Chaos Knights. Yes. However, we have our we have our second Dark Fortress, and I think we need to make make moves on our. We're actually at war with those. I didn't realise we were at war with them. Oh shit! Ah, oh, yeah, I know, I know. Get some aspiring champions. They're quite expensive, though. Let's do something like that. And maybe get one of those. They're also quite expensive. But they're also very killy. Okay. I think if, if they do come this way, it should be enough to deal with that. If we take, I'm assuming, this settlement, then these guys will be under our control. But I probably want to grab that Dark Fortress before we do that. So I'm Mistress thinking maybe Scots. we need to get some defences here. She's maybe trade swapping these two armies around. So I think maybe you need some more stuff, don't you? You'll probably be alright. Well, anyone home? No. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm t the aspiring champions can be very strong. But I'm going to hold off doing that until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.